Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add an RSS feed to your Moodle course. Sometimes an RSS feed is called a news feed or just a feed, uh, but it all does the same thing. It's just a way to feed content from an external site into your Moodle course. Um, feeds appear in blocks, and so we need to add the feed block. So the first thing we'll do is turn editing on. And then we'll scroll down and under add a block we'll, from this drop down menu, we'll choose remote RSS feeds. Once that's done, an empty block for feeds is added. There's nothing configured yet, so um, we'll need to select the gear icon to configure. And you can see there's no RSS feeds yet, so we need to add those. So select add slash edit feeds. And then press the add a new feed button. So what you need to do now is paste in the feed URL. Well, how do we get that? Um, so in this example, I'm using this disabilityscoop.com website. And um, Somewhere on the page, typically, if the website has a feed that you can use, you'll find something like this. And again, they, they may refer to it as different things. Um, this page has RSS feed. Usually you'll see this icon here, um, but you may not. So news feed, RSS feed, that's what you're looking for. So when you hover over, um, you can see down the status bar, it says disabilityscoop.com slash feed. And uh, so it seems like pretty likely that that's what we want. I'm going to copy the link, right click, copy link. It's going to be different in different browsers. But um, in Safari, you select copy link, it might be copy URL. Now back in Moodle, we'll go ahead and paste that in. And I can tell you right now, um, this is not formatted correctly, so you'll want to replace feed colon with HTTP colon. And um, if if you don't have this at the beginning, the HTTP colon slash slash, you'll want to make sure you add that. And um, then press add a new feed. And now we're back here. So Moodle will let you know if it thinks there's a problem. Um, and in this case, it's indicating that it probably is working. So it found the name of the feed. It has the URL for the feed. And then it also has a secondary uh, descriptor here. And that's it for that. Um, so there's not a way to go back to the block directly. Um, but if we click the name of the course and come back out to the main course page, and scroll down to the feed, we can see it here. Now, if I click the gear icon again, we can see that now the, the feed is in this, uh, this box here. So it seems to be configured right. What I also like to do at this point is select to display each link's description. So I choose yes, and then I go ahead and press save again. And um, now you can see the feeds don't come in right away. Uh, if you add the feed block and then you add the feed URL in and you don't see it right away, um, you can go ahead and reload the page. Usually it takes, it can take up to a minute or whatever, but um, yeah. So there you go. So now, now we can see here's the last five uh, articles from Disability Scoop. And you can actually click on the title and um, it'll bring you directly to the article on Disability Scoop. So that's how you add feeds in Moodle.